Hey Brady, good morning. Finally made it in Christchurch, New Zealand. Pretty tired after four hours of sleep. Finally got a GoPro. What do you mean you knew? Um, yeah, so cool. Anyway, I'll be able to film on the ice. It was pretty epic bringing our 11 boxes through New Zealand customs. Hey, good morning. Yesterday night, um, we left 11 boxes here with uh, with you guys, and we'd like to pick them up now. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. Bye. Oh boy, the answer was we know nothing about boxes. We have no idea where your boxes is. So it sounds like the drama continues. This is uh, a f***ing storm, as we say in the United States. Oh man. It's not on the plane yet. Oh, uh, what else could go wrong? <laughs> A little faster, guys, you know? <laughs> I got a schedule to keep. This because it has a chain hoist in there. You can just throw that. <laughs> <sighs> the obligatory Antarctic video. It's riveting. The physical demands in close quarters in Antarctica can result in elevated levels of stress. It's not uncommon to experience a sense of loneliness or disorientation especially during the first few days or even weeks. Yes. <laughs> this is what it's for? <laughs> I, I don't understand. <laughs> How do you use it? The glove doesn't fit. Yeah, right. This is because when people are walking around at the South Pole, you have no idea who it is. You just see a big, a big red parka. Now, I have a question to ask you. Uh -huh. Did you have your vaccination before you came down? What kind of vaccination? I've got a lot of vaccination. <laughs> I've got everything you want. No, I had nothing. You had nothing? No. Awesome. Guess what? I'm going to have them now? You do. What if I tell you I had them now? You're not going to trust You'd me? You'd have to see proof. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the actual CDC closed distribution center. And uh, they allowed me to go in. Let's go up close. A lot of other clothes. <sighs> More. Big reds. That's all you see when you're on the ice. Big reds, big reds, big reds. Car hearts. These are nice because they're they're doubled inside. They're warm. And so they have different clothes for different purposes. If you go to McMurdo versus if you go to South Pole versus, hey, I never got any of these neat t-shirts. I wonder where you have to go to get those. Tomorrow morning, we're supposed to report at the CDC at 5 a.m. for a flight at I don't know what time. We were being picked up here at 4.15. Brutal. So that's the Herc. C-130. Four propellers. It's loud once it's turned on. You can't speak anymore, at all. No communication for the next eight hours. You might also be really crammed. In the next eight hours, we're gonna take a flight from Christchurch, New Zealand, all the way to McMurdo. And then normally tomorrow, if all goes well, we'll take another flight from McMurdo Station to South Pole right there. to mark the new location of the axis of rotation because we are on this large sheet of ice. Whoa. 